Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing something really special. As you all know, it was WWDC 2015 today. Apple has rolled out the red carpet for a select few to come and check out the new features and things they are going to be offering coming up. Now, we're doing this video in collaboration with ModMy.com, so be sure and go over and check them out, guys. We're going to go over a little bit of the details about what happened today. And as you can see here on the screen, we're looking at iOS 9 first. And it says it's full of enhancements that you're going to appreciate every day. Your apps become more essential. Uh, new multitasking features on the iPad now which allowing you to be more productive. Siri can do even more than before. So let's take a look around at some of the things that you can do here. As you can see, it says we have some building apps, which is a new experience and great features. Uh, you do more on your big iPad display and two apps at once. Wow. So we have whined and cried until we have finally gotten this multitasking ability on the iPad. We can now do two separate applications at one time. And we have some iOS 9 intelligence that says uh, proactive suggestions make your device even more helpful. Uh, you have some improved security updates as well as longer battery life. So as you can see here when you click the little drop down it takes you way down the list here and shows you some things it says under the hood refinements uh, bring your more responsive performance easier updates better battery life and tighter security which is just exactly what they said up there now it says across the entire operating system apps and key technologies have been made more efficient to trim battery usage uh, wherever possible they have added an additional hour before charging that's awesome guys and as you can see here iOS 8 was pretty large file iOS 9 is only a gig not even a gig and a half and iOS 8 was four and a half this is remarkable guys because taking consideration a lot of the people can't afford to get the bigger devices so they get the 16 gig but then when you have a firmware that's taking up uh four and a half gigs i mean you're not left with a whole lot guys i mean you're looking at just about 11 gigs right there off the bat and it doesn't take a whole lot of applications to fill that baby up very very quick especially with some of the bigger games you know Call of Duty stuff, stuff like that. Those are over a gig self, you know, just them alone. So, as you can see here, you got some apps that's going to help you do more every day. You got a news app. Uh, you get all the news you want right where you want it. And it says iOS 9 adds a new app to your home screen. The news app collects all the stories you want to read, the top news sources. Uh, I wish they would put iPhone Captain in that. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? It says it's a captivating experience, which I'm sure it is. Brings beautiful editorial layouts, typograph, type, typography of print to the screen. Unbelievable. The content's optimized for both iPhone and iPad, which that's good to know. So we're going to have the news app. Uh, stories that we really want to read, it says and things along that th nature. Now it says we have Noteworthy. A notes app has been great for jotting down your thoughts and now it's great for so much more. Want an easy way to make a checklist? Of course we do. Add a photo, a map, a URL, or a note. You can even draw a sketch with your finger and all of that thanks to iCloud changes to your notes will be updated across all your devices and iCloud.com. That's awesome guys. We've needed a way to make a checklist forever. That way when you go to the store you can just check things off and you see right here you got the little checklist things to do, create a budget, price appliances 
and those things are done but see we still need to consult with a contractor we haven't done that so we're going to make sure that we get to that because we haven't got the little check mark by it yet and the remarkable thing is it all syncs up across all your devices now we even have a better maps it looks like you can use public transportation with maps as your guide uh, which is something that i'm not very familiar with because we don't have public transportation here where i live back in the hills of kentucky we still ride horses and buggies uh, now it says you have a new transit view which shows you lines and stations right on the map which that would be very helpful if you lived in a big city like new york or somewhere like that you guys are really going to enjoy that and know where the transit's going to be and all that good stuff so got a lot going on here guys with your maps new wallet app so now you can use apple pay to make purchases with your discover card your credit cards like kohl's jc pennies dunkin donuts walgreens all that stuff is going to be able to be used along with apple pay and it says now you can just double click the home button when your iphone's locked to access wallet and quickly pay with apple pay that'll be convenient guys carplay if you're fortunate enough again here to have this it says now your iphone is an even better co-pilot if your car supports wireless connection to the iphone you can use carplay without plugging it in it also says it plays audio messages which would that would be something that would be really helpful so you can hear people in their own voices if you use your car's knobs to control carplay now you can take full advantage of the way the tilt and spin to scroll through the list uh, or pan around in maps which would be very helpful if you're looking for something you know that's going to be really cool cool way to do things it says man this 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 the way they're splitting this screen up is really remarkable split over split view picture in picture give you new ways to multitask on the ipad a new quick type feature makes formatting and text selection even easier and put shortcuts right at your fingertips you got multitasking here do all this while you do that your ipad is great for work play creating incredible designs building fun slideshows video chatting and for tons of other stuff it says so that slide over has really got me going split view picture in the picture here we go use your facetime or watching a video press the home button and your video screen scales down the corner of a display tap to open the second app and your video continues to play while you use your other app so create something like an email while you're facetiming and talking okay let me send so and so an email and you're still talking to your friend well what do you want me to put in an email blah 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 and it's going to be cool guys all this stuff has a place quick type right here commands at your fingertips shape up your next text in no time with all this new shortcut bar convenient editing tools and handy new way to select text with the multi-touch gestures and now you can use a wireless keyboard with your ipad to enjoy even more keyboard shortcuts a built-in shortcut bar wow bold italicize and underline copy and paste with just a couple taps of the keyboard shortcut bar can also be customized for third-party apps so the tools you need are always right at the tips of your fingers a smarter way to do just about everything guys Siri is now smarter than ever before. Catch a wider range of topics on a wider range of answers. It understands what you say more accurately. It's about time, Apple, and delivers your results much faster. iOS 9 is smarter in lots of other ways, too, giving you helpful suggestions before you can even ask. Hey, Siri, what else can I ask you? Show me videos I took at Iva's birthday party. Remind me about this when I get to my car. 
Siri powers a more intelligent search. As a helpful assistant, you can talk to, but Siri is also the technology that powers search on your iPhone and iPad. And now you can even get more answers when you type in the search field. Keep it up, guys. You're doing great. A head start on every search. Relevant people, suggested apps, places, and in the news based on your location. That's pretty awesome. Meet your proactive assistant, guys. Based on the apps you commonly use in the time of day, you'll get intelligent suggestions for what you might want to do next. This guy is really just getting about too smart for his own good. It says it's engineered to perform at every level. I can agree with that. And we've already been through some of the battery updates, security updates, move to iOS from an Android with Android migration. Just download the move to iOS app to wireless switch from your Android to your new iOS device. It securely transfers your contacts, messages, photos, videos, bookmarks, mail accounts, calendars, wallpaper, DRM free songs and books. And it helps you rebuild your app library too. Any free apps you use like Facebook and Twitter are suggested for download from the app store and your paid apps are added to your iTunes wish list. Now that's getting pretty remarkable guys. Apple has definitely been busy guys and it says iOS 9 is compatible with these devices here. So hopefully you see your device on the screen. See you in the next one guys. If you aren't a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Share this video with everyone you know and keep coming back.